every occasion to fight climate change is important. And we're an island and we have so little green space remaining. So Grand Parc de l'Ouest would be my biggest accomplishment. I'm so proud of that. And uh, I think it combines everything that I believe in. I definitely want to make sure that everybody feels safe, that everybody self-identify to the police officers to have a police car that is close to the community. Some of the things we want to continue to work on because we've already started is make sure that the tools that the police officers have are the right one and serves the right needs. For example, uh, we've decided to invest massively into creating more mixed patrol where you have, for example, in one car, you have a police officer, but you, you also have a social worker because we know that there's a very important number of cases where are calls that are related to social uh, issues. We know that there's a, an increase of gun violence and this is why we put together a squad dealing uh, specifically with the number of guns in that are, are circulating on our territory. Another tool that I we want to uh, bring quite uh, fast is the body cam. It would be one of the way, I don't think it's the only way, but to bring more transparency. The police budget is under the responsibility of the city of Montreal, where everything related to community organizing is financed by the government of Quebec. So that is very important to, to keep that in mind. We have put more money to support some of the local organizations because we know that, you know, they are part of the solution. We cannot put them aside. They have to work close with the police officers. That being said, it's not like taking money from the, the police officer that goes directly to community organizing. And the other thing is when we know that there's an increase of violence in Montreal, we need to also be responsible and we need police officers. So when I talk about a balanced approach, it's about making sure that depending on what is the type of case they have to face, they have the right tools. We definitely have a very different vision about what makes Montreal a fantastic city. To him, it would be more about event, formula, electric race, uh, big things that blings blings, you know, where for me, what makes a city interesting is a city where the quality of life is amazing. And because of that, investors wants to come, tourists wants to visit. Students are like, this is where I'm gonna go study and maybe I wanna raise my family there. When I was running, I was fighting for a pink line. I remember the Nicodère saying that it was absolutely crazy. Where, four years after, we have half of the pink line that is in the, is in the way. So I believe in dreams, but you have to be pragmatic as well. And this is where I would locate myself uh, between those two candidates. One that dreams big, but maybe doesn't get how it works, versus the other one that is kind of looking, is stuck in the past. He's stuck in the past. Yeah, let's put it this way. So I like to think that not only do we have the vision and we dream big, but we're able to pull it off.